What's going on, people? I'm just uh, doing a little packing, you know, because I'm going to Ottawa for the first time ever. And I figured, since my first time going to Ottawa, it's a good time to do my first vlog ever. I decided to bring you guys with me. So uh, get comfortable and uh, enjoy the journey. Let's see what happens. I'll see you in Ottawa. <laughs> Yo, I love trains. I love traveling by train. It's one of my favorite ways to get around in this world. When I was in Europe, oh my God. When I, Italy, Paris, London, trains are great. I was relaxed, had me a nice glass of wine. And overall, I do feel like it was a nice time. And I feel like I was pretty productive this whole time. I do. I do believe I was pretty productive. And after being so goddamn productive, I got to the train station, went in, took a look at this m and machine first time i saw this and then i met with my boy he took me to a place called shawarma palace which is the place to go to get shawarma in ottawa i guess and then we just relaxed till the next night next day i should say now uh, we're on our way my boy and i to this restaurant to meet a couple of our other friends this brunch spot that I found online that was super delicious. I'm going to show y'all in a minute, but I'm surprised that none of them been there before. And then we pulled up and I got my camera and everything. And I'm like, yo, what's wrong with this film? And I realized what happened. I forgot one thing. This thing right here. My ND filter. I even put on my to-do list checklist to take all your camera shit with me. I should have been more specific. I even got this dope shot of the Toronto skyline. Damn. Anyways, we get to the restaurant. It was really good. I had to get me a matcha tea. I'm in this matcha, matcha tea phase right now. Got me a matcha tea. I got the salami eggs Benedict, which was good. My boy got the pancakes, which I got to try. They were all right. My other boy had a halloumi salad, and my other boy had a sandwich. He said it was good. I think it was chicken. Then we made our way to the National Gallery of Canada. And on the way, I recorded this video right thinking, oh, this is so dope, right? I love it. And then at some point, it just goes into slow motion. I didn't even know how it did that or how I did that, but it was just going in slow motion. I was like, okay. I didn't even know it in the moment I was recording, but I thought it was kind of dope. But then when I looked back at the recording later, I was like, oh, this is like five minutes long. This is way too long right so then we still pulling up to the national gallery now and it's still in slow motion and i'm like what the hell should i even use this footage am i gonna put this in there people are gonna go crazy watching things happen in slow motion like we want to slow down but we don't like seeing things slow down but check this out the craziest thing happened bam regular speed again anyways the national gallery was nice and for some reason every time i go to an art gallery i immediately think jazz okay so i set up my camera this is it's a little shaky you know this is my first vlog and i was trying to get different areas of the gallery while i was by myself because we separated and it was cool and i just got around and i just shot different areas and it was nice to just relaxing almost art Museums are therapeutic to me. So I just went around and took pictures of this and that and this and so many other things that I just were great. And a lot of great indigenous art here, which I think is amazing. Um, I can't tell if it was like one section in the museum that, or excuse me, art gallery that had 
the indigenous art or it was scattered all over. It felt like there was a bit in different areas. I'm sure they probably had a specific exhibit everywhere, but I just took some of the, my favorite things here. Um, what else happened? I got to keep talking. Yeah, I don't know why I'm zooming in. Don't ask me that. Okay. And then this was a dope picture or set of pictures. I was taking some inspiration for my next film, you know. And then I don't know. This made me think of that song by Silk. Have you ever heard that song? There's a meeting in my bedroom. Oh, oh, oh. So, girl, please don't be late. Because the museum closing. Because the museum closing. So, yeah. I walked around the museum. A lot of great art here. You know, even some stuff that'll make you dizzy. Like, like this. Like, you dizzy yet? Oh, man. Don't look at it too long. You might fall in love with me. Might confusing. Okay, what about this one? Yeah? No? No? Still? Okay. How about this one? This one, I won't lie, made me hella dizzy. Now, my favorite exhibit was one done by Stan Douglas, who's actually a black guy from Vancouver. And this exhibit is kind of about civil unrest, right? Like, it's four photographs, kind of reimagined, I believe, in four different places. It was my favorite, really my favorite exhi exhibition. The best part to me about this exhibit was this part where they had, there was an all black room and there was two videos on one side, on each side, excuse me. And it was like a rap battle. The rap battles were like happening in different languages. Like there was one happening in English and then what it was being translated in Arabic on one, on one screen and then the other one, it, the rap battle was happening in Arabic and they were translating in English so you knew what was going on. It was kind of cool. I, it was dope. Now, after watching all of that great art at this gallery, we went, of course, to Parliament Hill. And I realized why it's called Parliament Hill, because it's Parliament buildings on a hill. And we checked that out for a little while. After checking that out, we went and got some food because we had been running around all day doing stuff. We spent like four hours at the museum. Then we had to go here to this restaurant. Ooh, food was good. And you know... I definitely had to get the soup of the day. Yes, I did. Yes, we did, because y'all was there with me. And, oh, man, the food here was so good. Like, the chips and guac were on point. Best chips and guac I ever had. These were called Mexican fries. Oh, fantastic. And then, you know, we chilled and went our separate ways. Day two was a little bit more relaxing. My boy showed me the Rideau Canal, which apparently you can ice skate here during the winter, but you couldn't during this time because get this, it wasn't cold enough. And it was cold as F and auto at this time. Okay. We also came across this Winterfest thing that was happening right there, which is like, it wasn't a lot to do because it's Ottawa. It's just something to do when there ain't nothing to do. And we did come across these ice sculptures. They were melted, which is crazy. But we found Elvis, man. I swear you can find an Elvis impersonator in every city. And this is another mishap of mine. Why did I do that? I don't even remember doing this. 
why did I turn the camera vertical? I guess I was trying to get content for the social medias for IG, but I'm not even going to use it for that now. Then we made it to Parliament Hill, baby, again, but on a different side of the hill where we can see the Parliament, you know, took some video, tried to make a video. It didn't work out because I didn't do it right. And I yelled out, I'm in Ottawa, bitch ass. That was fun. Yeah. Oh, and then we checked out this nice dessert place. I forgot the name of the place, but they have these famous Obama cookies. And I don't know why they famous. I'm gonna be honest with you. Like it's great marketing because I should have known when they had so many cookies because it was not amazing at all. Oh, and I had this right here. Ooh, a croffle. Yo, a croffle is the greatest thing. That's it, y'all. And then I was out. Peace. Thanks for joining me for the vlog. I really appreciate y'all. It's a growing pain. It's not up to the quality I would exactly like, but I'm getting there. I promise it's going to get better. So stick with me. Subscribe to the channel. And just be on the lookout for more good effing content. Peace.